Hey guys, Dr. Trent Hibbert here. I want to give you a quick educational moment about cholesterol. Cholesterol, do you think it's good or do you think it's bad? We've been conditioned to think that there's good and bad, right? Well, let me ask you, do you think your body would make something that would be harmful for it? Let's find out. Let's take a look at our whiteboard today. So our whiteboard all week has been this. Cholesterol is actually essential for life. It's a vital component of every cell in your body and a precursor to all these hormones in your body. Unsurprisingly then, since we know those facts, low cholesterol actually damages the cell membranes, affecting the nerve system and your ability to actually deal with stress. And the lower the levels of cholesterol, the younger you die. So let me talk to you about this for a second. Very quick analogy. Let's say this wall right here, this drywall, represents an inside of an artery. And if that artery is healthy, it's nice and solid like this wall. But let's say I start poking holes through this wall and creates damage, right? Well, since this is drywall, what would you patch those holes with depending on the size? Probably plaster or putty, right? Well, the holes are going to represent actually the oxidative stress from our lifestyle choices, and that creates inflammation and damage to the wall. Your body is self-healing, self-regulating. It actually uses cholesterol. That's what cholesterol is. It's a waxy substance that actually wants to cover the damage to the inside of those walls. So let me ask you, why would we take a cholesterol-lowering medication and remove the putty that's actually creating a healing effect to the body? Because when we remove the putty, now the damage in the holes and the inflammation still exists, and that can lead to other diseases and actually a shortened lifespan. So lastly, you know, the medical world talks about there being averages. You know, take 10,000 people, and here's the average of where you should be. Let me ask you, do you think there's a one-size-fits-all? A guy that's 6'5", 250 pounds, don't you think his body's going to need a little bit different cholesterol level versus, let's say, a 5'9", 175-pound person? It could, actually, absolutely, right? Logically. And then lastly, <clears throat> you know, cholesterol's been made out to be this bad guy, but it's really the good guy. So it all goes back to if you eat well, you exercise on a regular basis, and of course, if you keep your nerve system clear of subluxations, you'll have a healthy and a better quality of life. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks for listening. Have a good night.